Another way to animate the parameters of your content and effects is by using audio. Resolume's audio FFT feature allows us to use clip audio, audio files, or an external source to drive parameters. Let's create an audio reactive effect to demonstrate how audio FFT works. First we'll trigger a clip and add the mirror effect to it. Change the X and Y parameters to 0.50 so that we get a nice symmetrical look. I want this effect to move in and out of its mirror position. This is what it'll look like when automated. The in-out parameter will move to the audio. If we click the small arrow by the in-out label, notice the FFT options. Let's select external FFT first. External FFT refers to an incoming audio signal from a physical source such as a USB audio interface or microphone. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure Resolume sees your equipment. We suggest making sure everything is hooked up prior to launching Resolume. Select Preferences from the menu and click on the Audio tab. Choose your physical audio source by selecting it under Audio Input Device. On this system we'll be using a USB mixer, which has audio coming in from one of its input jacks. Once the audio input device is set up, let's go back to our effect and select External FFT to drive our in-out parameter on the mirror effect. Notice that the in-out parameter changes to an audio timeline and is now reacting to incoming audio. You'll want to adjust the gain to increase the amount of influence the audio has on the parameter. If turning the gain all the way up is still not enough to drive the parameter, you may want to go back into Preferences and increase the Audio FFT input gain. You can have this displayed on your interface by clicking on the View menu and selecting Show FFT Gain. A gain knob will be added to the Resolume interface along with the waveform display. Now let's customize the effect so that it pulsates from the center and out. We'll reverse the playback mode by clicking on the left arrow. Let's also adjust the gain so the effect is stronger. The fall parameter controls how quickly the value falls back from a peak. We'll decrease the amount of fall, but you may want to increase it if you prefer a more twitchy feel. We can customize the effect further by clicking on the arrow next to the playback options. This reveals a waveform of the various audio frequencies. You can quickly choose which audio frequency your parameter reacts to by clicking on either L, M, or H, which stands for lows, mids, and highs. If you want to fine-tune the frequencies at which the parameter is driven by, drag the in and out points of the slider under the audio waveform. The other two FFT options are similar. By selecting Composition FFT, we can drive parameters using a triggered audio clip. Here's the same song in WAV format loaded into a clip slot. If we trigger this, our in and out parameters are now being driven by the song triggered in our composition. The Clip Audio FFT option works similarly, but instead of driving a parameter from a triggered audio clip, the audio source is the clip itself. In order for this to work, your content must contain an audio track. These audio FFT features can add another layer of synchronization between visuals and music. By using an audio feed at an event, or if you're a musician wanting to use your own songs, Resolume's built-in audio FFT feature is one you'll want to experiment with to create audio-reactive live visuals.